The project um, base piece is, is one of the tenants um, that Henry County Schools set out um, as a guardrail for personalized learning. Um, so that's a really a crucial piece, that authentic learning experience uh, that our, our students need to help them become college, career, and life ready. And uh, we took the, we developed um, the house projects. We took that model from our high school. Uh, in the spring of our eighth grade students' year, they have to choose a career pathway as they move into high school. And, and again, going back to um, prior implementation of personalized learning, we found that our students weren't as informed about those career pathways as they needed to be. Um, so we recognized that we needed to do a better job of uh, uh, informing them about what colleges are out there, what careers are out there, and what those career pathways are all about. Um, so our, our high school developed uh, the four houses, Center Stage, Community Commerce, Cultivating Wellness, and House of Design. And uh, we took that model and brought that here. So our teachers developed um, house projects based on those four houses. The teachers designed those projects and, and driving questions, but at the same time, if, if a kid recognizes he has a, a particular passion within the house, they can explore that as well. So um, we've got a girl that's writing a novel. Um, so she's continuing, continuing that work. We have a student that writes his own music and has had it played throughout the state of Georgia. So um, students can definitely have that agency to explore um, that, that passion and that interest through that house. Um, house model that we've created. Uh, we do discuss the house projects with our advisory students, uh, but we also meet with our students who are on our team on a weekly basis. Um, and when we do that, like what day of the week is dependent upon the teacher. But one day of the week is set aside specifically for, I need to meet with my House of Design students so that we can talk about the progress you're making, answer any questions that you have. And that's on a teacher by teacher basis when they do that. But many people can probably reflect back on when they had their first how to do research. I don't think it's a joyful memory. You know, I don't think you left that class when, wow, this makes it wow. This is your problem. This is what you want to do. This is the solution. There is no right, wrong. There is no true faults. And it does take a little bit to get some of them over that hump. But once they get over, I think that the freedom of learning and empowering them, mm -hmm. them as students is you know way better than say something that I experienced during a more traditional type of school.